Here we are at Oshkosh, AirVenture 2023. I'm Ben Coleman, one of your hosts for the aviation portion of the Florida Aviation Network. And uh, Obi, if you're not here, you're missing it big time, man. The, uh, and every now and then you tell, oh, I just showed a little bit of one of our guests there. I can't show John Golia just yet, but uh, we got Greg Fife and John Golia here. Uh, the, uh, actually call them the flight safety detectives and they're also board members on uh, Professional Aviation Mechanics Association, of uh, which I am proud to be affiliated with. But John, can you say something to the Florida Aviation Network crowd? Well, if you're a pilot, I often say it at the end of our podcast, you've got to do free planning, maybe even twice before you go flying, you need to do a good walk around. We've been going around the airplanes here, taking a look at, at what you see and, and ways to do good walk arounds. Too many pilots do a one solo lightly. And, and after you get in the air, you've got to put your head on the swivel because we have so many pilots today that are just not up to snuff. And, you know, I don't want to say it that way, but. Uh, it's true. How yeah. about the pilot mechanics, John? How about the mechanics that are pilots and pilots that wish that they were mechanics? Yeah, that's the problem in a number of areas. I was a, I was a pilot first, and I was a mechanic, and then I was a pilot mechanic, and then I just stayed as a mechanic. I call it the ultimate airman, really. And uh, John, we're, we're gonna be uh, talking about this with you and the, and the PAMA group, and you are the big guy of PAMA. I like to remind people that we are sitting here, are the president of PAMA. And, uh, and we also have uh, one of our, uh, I call him Hollywood for some reason. Look at that smile. I mean, how can you how can you resist that? Greg, we were just talking about something that you were wanting to bring to fruition. And uh, and that's just exposure of, uh, of the importance of maintenance. And making ma maintenance is cool. Maintenance has always been good for me. And uh, I have gotten more dates in a hangar. <laughs> and with, with women. One track thinking yeah. with you. <laughs> One of the big things, Ben, is that with maintenance, it isn't, it, it's the guys that are working below the wing. And when you think about it that way, they're the forgotten people. Yeah. Yet, without a mechanic, I don't fly. I, I can't fix my own airplane. Have I turned a wrench on my airplane? Absolutely. Have I learned how to turn wrenches? Absolutely. But without a qualified mechanic, I don't go anywhere. Yeah. And I wouldn't trust myself even if I was a mechanic because I want another set of eyes. And that's why I think maintenance is so important today, especially with the new technology, the emerging technology that's going to, into an airplane. It's challenging and it's cool. Why? Because it's video. And a lot of young people can identify with video, sure. video games. Well, it's just taken to another level when you put it in an airplane. And, uh, and uh, Mimmin, uh, Mimmin, oh, that's a new one. Uh, uh, that's a fruit bar right there, but men and women. Women are wonderful aviators, they really are, both mechanics and, and, and flying the machine. And we have got to uh, embrace, and uh, I'm getting myself in trouble here. We've got to put our arms around women in aviation a lot more than we have. And uh, the, I know that they're supporters of PAMA as well, but uh, uh, Marsha Buckingham, uh, very go, very go getter. And we, we need to remember that this is, this appeals to all walks of life. And people, we're talking about bringing the te television show to fruition. They said, well, not enough people are going to watch aviation content. Wrong. Look at this at Oshkosh. The first day was a, a, almost a sellout. And when you look at the number of not just women, but young women and young girls, they are here, they're actually engaged in aviation. Mm -hmm. They're not just here because they're being dragged here. No, no. And that's a good thing. One of my first mentors at the NTSB eons ago was Wally Funk, mm -hmm. very famous woman aviator. Norway. Recently had gone into space with Jeff Bezos. She has always been an advocate of women in aviation. Mm -hmm. She was the first female uh, FAA inspector. She was the first female NTSB inspector. Mm -hmm. And when you look at her passion at 82 years old today, mm -hmm. it hasn't waned from when she started. Yeah. And that's what we have to really embrace and encourage. Well, and we are going to do that, but uh, we're not going to do it all in this this one oh, little short clip. Come on, uh, man! We have clip. all day. Uh, <laughs> we got a, a lot to a, do. A five-minute clip. We got a lot to do, but I just want to 
Uh, well, we they, broke numbers this year at the Aerospace Maintenance Skills Competition, which I am also uh, the president of, uh, for the number of women and women teams that we've had. And I look forward to the day where we could, we don't have to say that we have women, that we could just say we had 600 mechanics there. Mechanics, airmen. Yep. And uh, I agree with you. And, you know, one thing about this uh, this guy is you will never find a lack of passion in John Goldie. <laughs> And uh, we, uh, that, that is, uh, I think it's still I'm, out there. I'm holding myself back. I know, John. <laughs> but, and, and there's there's a lot more out there. They're walking around there. There's some little John Golias and, uh, and Juan, Janetta, uh, Juanita Golias uh, that we're going to find. We're going to find them, Greg. Yep, we are. Greg, now, this is great. Say so, so long. So long. And we'll see Fly you safe. Soon. Bye. And, All righty. And I, I look forward to coming back. And we're looking forward to seeing you back, John. Uh, ben Coleman, anchor host for Florida Aviation Network. We'll see you next interview.